And the power of prayer through the sadness and sorrow, El Paso has found strength. ABC 7's Kate Beery saw the tears, the heartbreak, and the emotion. She joins us live at Ponder Park. Kate. An absolutely astounding display of love and unity here in Ponder Park as hundreds, if not thousands, of El Paso residents honored the memories of the 20 people killed and prayed for the 26 injured. We may have been broken and fractured. We are a resilient community. Heartbreak in the borderland. If one falls, we all fall. El Paso is familia, one sign read, when one hurts, we all hurt. What does prayer do? It heals. It changes us. It saves us. But a community of thousands is now united in prayer and hope. And we will show the world that we are a resilient, beautiful community. 20 people killed, 26 injured. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar called the tragedy white nationalism. The shooter came into our community because we are an Hispanic community and because we have immigrants here. He came here to harm us. Let's keep every single one of those families in our prayers. Hundreds of borderland residents now marching in absolute silence in honor of the 20 people killed in yesterday's mass casualty shooting. Presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke described meeting a seriously injured El Paso mother named Rosemary. Both of her lungs were pierced. She had this big, beautiful, strong, courageous, confident El Paso smile on her face. Through hate son... and heartbreak, El Paso will find hope. And we will come back stronger than ever. And we have now been covering this senseless and heartbreaking shooting for about 36 hours non-stop. You can count on us to follow it in the days, weeks, and months to come. Live in Ponder Park, Cape Uri, ABC 7. And it was quite a showing of support out there at Ponder Park uh, this evening. A lot of grieving people, but uh, everybody came together to pray and to be strong and to get through this.